Okay, Ben Fletcher here from FletcherBlog.com. I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can add affiliate links to the sidebar of your WordPress site uh, really easily. Uh, you don't need to do any coding to do this. You don't need to be a coder. I'm going to show you how you can do it uh, extremely simply. Uh, what I'm going to this will work for any affiliate network that you use: uh, ServiceAle, Amazon. It work for Amazon. It work for ClickBank as well. Any of them. Any any network that you have. That gives you an affiliate link. This will work. Uh, I'll be using Thirsty Affiliates primarily just to show you how to do this. Uh, if you don't know how to use Thirsty Affiliates, just check out one of my other videos. I've got another video on how to do this. Uh, this will show you how to install this plugin and set it up uh, on, on, a, on another one of my videos. So uh, right now I'm going to show you how to add a affiliate link to the sidebar here. Here I've just got a demo site here. And what we're going to do is right here, we're going to we're going to add an affiliate link. We're going to do it in two ways. First way, we're going to do just a normal uh, text affiliate link, which is just like a, a normal uh, hypertext link that, that somebody will click on and, and they go through to your affiliate product. And the other way that we're going to do it is with a button like this. So you have a button and, you, you know, you'll have you know click click here and then uh, you'll go off to your affiliate site there so there are two like, ways that we're going to do it doing a button is going to be a little bit more difficult than doing a normal link but I'm just going to show you both ways of doing it so first of all I've already set up uh, 30 affiliates on my site and I've already got a link there that I'm going to use once again if you're not sure how to use 30 affiliates I highly recommend you check out my other video on how to do this um, so what we want to do, I'm just going to grab this link here that we've got and then we're going to go down to your widgets here. Now down here under appearance you can have uh, an option there called widgets. Now to add a widget to your sidebar, I've already got it here, we're going to be using the text widget. I'm just going to show you how to get the text widget there. Uh, you come down here and you'll see this option here. Just call the text widget. All you need to do is just click and drag that up to your up to your sidebar there. Um, just so you can see this, I'm just going to put is the widget. I'm just going to show you what that looks like on the other side. As you can see, I've called it. This is the widget. Let me just refresh this one second. As you can see, there's a widget, and there's, there's no link there at the moment. We're just going to do that now. Um, so to put a link there, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in a bit of text, um, like so. Just for the purpose of this, just um, going to type that. You're going to highlight this, and then with the the link that you just copied from Thirty Affiliates, all you do is click this icon here, which is this one here, and you can insert it manually like that, or you can do a quick add. Here, I'll show you two options right now. First option is highlighting this like that. Copying, paste that in, like that. Okay, that should go there like that. The second option, let's just repeat that again. The second option is actually using this button. This is probably the quickest option of doing it. What you do is click that, give give it a name, which is what, what we've just done. And then all you do is just type in here and just search for the link. And then what that will do is it will insert the link automatically for you. I tend to use the first option, which is this option. So if I save that, now we go back to my site. As you can see here, you've now got a clickable link right there. That's the, that's a clickable link. That that will be your affiliate link. So that's the first way. The second way of doing it is with a button. I'm just going to show you how to do that now. Now with a button, what you're going to need to do is come over here to plugins, which is here. Sorry, excuse me. Come over here to plugins. Right, add a new plugin. And we're going to search for max buttons up here 
that should put up the plugin that I'm looking for. This one here. This is the plugin we want. As you can see, it's got 100,000 active installs. That one. Click install now. Activate the plugin. And then you're going to come down to, to the sidebar here and you're going to see an option there called uh, Max Buttons. Click Add New. And then what you've got, you've got a whole bunch of names, uh, a whole bunch of uh, button options here. Just enter the name. So, my button one, right there. Obviously, uh, go in the, the, the link that we copied here from 30 Affiliates. All you're going to do, you're just going to paste that in there. Or you can actually select any content that you want to link to there. You've got a few options here. Uh, by default, it's this colour. I'm just going to show you the default option. Then I'm going to come back and just customise it a little bit. And show you what show you, and show you what else you can do. Okay. One second. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we're going to do, it's going to come back over here to Max Buttons and go to Buttons. And here you're going to see this short code here. Grab this short code, just so you can see what I'm talking about. If I come in a little bit closer. All you need is this code here, including the brackets. There. That's what you need. Come out of here a second. What you do, just copy this. Copy that. Go back to your widget. If you can find it. Appearance widgets. There. And if you remember our text widget that we had. Oops. It's disappeared. I don't know where that's gone. I don't know what happened there. It disappeared. Right, let's just put it back up into here. Uh, I don't know, for some reason that, that, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, no, it is there. Sorry, excuse me. This is the widget there. Open that. And all you need to do with that short code that we just copied, just click that. What I'd like to do is just align this to the center. And to do that, you can just come into the code and just put a uh, set of tags around it. You don't need to do that. But I like to do that. Just post in that short code there. Click save. And now what we should have on our site is this button here. If you refresh the page, as you can see, there's a button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how you can change the colour and the text. using max buttons. So we go back to max buttons. Down here. Click buttons. We click edit. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the text. As you can see here, it just says your text. We put a call to action in there. Click here. Uh, I think what we'll do, we give it a different colour. We change the colour of the colour of the button. Uh, we give it this colour. As you can see, you get a live preview of it over here. So that's all okay. Uh, the hover, the hover background colour, what that is when you hover over it. As you can see at the moment, it's 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 changing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find the bit where that controls that. One moment, just need to find it. One second. Okay, that's that bit there. What we do is we'll change that to red. So what's going to happen when you when you actually I won't use red. I'll use something else, green. So what's going to happen is when you hover, as you can see how it is at the moment, it's purple, and when you hover over it, it's white. What this is going to do is going to change it to this colour, and then when you hover over it, it's going to go to green. So when you're happy with the colours and you're happy with the text, there's a few other bits and pieces that you can play around with here. But when you're happy with that. Scroll down to the bottom, click save. That's going to save that. 
Now if we go back to the site and refresh it, it should look a little bit different now. As you can see, the text has changed when you roll over it, the button colour changes. So that's how you do that. That plugin is called Max Buttons. Uh, you just installed it exactly how I showed you earlier in the video. Uh, and that's how you'll get both an affiliate link, which is a normal link, like this one here. Text link. Or you can use a button link as well. Okay, guys, I hope you found that useful. Uh, obviously, if you've got any questions, just let me know. Uh, don't forget, there's more tips and tricks in, below this video. Uh, just go and click that. And obviously, visit my blog, FletcherBlog.com. Uh, that's FletcherBlog.com. I uh, hope you found this useful. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.